hello family welcome back to another vlog so today we are traveling to bangkok thailand i'm super excited it's been a dream destination on my bucket list for quite some time and so i am super 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 excited join us and let's have fun together Currently we are headed to the airport using Outer Ring Road. It's an easier alternative if you're coming from Pika Super Highway and it has basically no traffic at all. So we just arrived at the airport sorry guys about the reflection i was recording through the window while seated at the back seat Interestingly, the airport was very crowded today. Uh, we were rushing since our flight was for 5.55 p.m. And we had quite a bit of luggage. And we also had to buy extra luggage. Unfortunately, I had overpacked. And so the luggage limit was is actually 23 kgs per luggage. So and we ended up buying uh, another suitcase, but it all worked out well. Guys, traveling with kids is an extreme sport. My kids were all over the place. It was so hard to contain them. By the time we were boarding, I was extremely tired. So unfortunately, I missed some parts of the video. But let's just continue.
there is a little glimpse of our plane so actually guys it's my first time flying qatar airways we settled for qatar airways this time because it had the shortest layover at doha but boy were we wrong our passport so let me give you a short summary of how our journey was supposed to be we were to fly from nairobi to doha then have a three hour layover at doha then take another flight from Doha to Bangkok then from Bangkok we had booked um, a flight to Chiang Mai I can't really remember the name oh it was Thai Smile unfortunately things did not turn out as we expected our three hour layover ended up being a seven hour layover at Doha <laughs> and so we ended up missing our flight from Bangkok to Chiang Mai it was quite an experience actually but let's let's continue watching now since during this journey I was able to fly using four aeroplanes for Qatar Airways I feel like I'm in a good position to give this review because I was utterly disappointed in the planes that they use to and from Africa. This aeroplane was quite old. In fact, not quite. It was very old. Extremely old. The screen was very difficult to operate. The remote. Oh, it was... Just look at the window, guys. Look at the window. I could barely see the sun. Oh, anyway. We were already inside the aeroplane, so it was time to take off. It was actually a little bit late, but we were able to take off well.
Uh, well, we landed at Doha at around 12.55 a.m. Ahmad International Airport is quite, is very beautiful and quite huge. It was my first time being there and it was really amazing. Finally got to see the iconic giant yellow teddy bear that is the big huge monument in the airport. But at this point we were really tired, the kids were very hungry, so we had to go and rush and get something to eat. It. Uh, we were supposed to board our flight at 1.30 a.m. But because of the delay, we ended up boarding at 4.30 a.m. We were extremely exhausted. The kids were cranky. But we, we were just happy because the aeroplane was, it was very comfortable and very different from the one we used from Nairobi.
so guys we landed at Bangkok at 4 p.m. the following day can you imagine we started this journey on the 19th of December at 5.55 p.m. and we reached the 20th of December at 4 p.m. oh my goodness it was such a long journey As I had said earlier, our flight from Bangkok to Chennai was supposed to be at 3 p.m. but we landed at 4 p.m. Though Thai Smile were really kind, they refunded us the full amount that we had paid for the tickets. I wasn't able to record the immigration process, it was quite lengthy. We also had to fill some vaccination forms, especially if you're coming from Africa. And also they did not allow filming. Uh, the whole process uh, from landing to immigration and getting our luggage took us about two hours. So as you can see, I am seated at the lobby. We were trying to get another flight to Chiang Mai, but all the flights were booked. So we could only get a flight for the next day. So we just had to get a, a hotel near the airport that we would sleep for the night and figure out how we would get to Chiang Mai the following day. I decided to get a tourist SIM card since we did not have a tour guide or an agent we actually took ourselves to Bangkok I made all the payments so I needed a number that I could be able to communicate to the drivers and the people who we would be able to use during our stay we were finally able to get a small hotel that was very near but it was very late it was around 10 pm and we were really tired so we just rushed went to the hotel for the night the hotel is since van airport suites i hope i'm pronouncing that correctly thank you for watching see you in the next one bye